Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Vornax and today I am very off topic for a gaming channel. So thank you for clicking on the video. The algorithm will not be happy, but I am because I get to share with you how Phonax was created and talk about the software I use to bring her to life in both videos and on live streams. This video is part explainer, part behind the scenes and 100% not really what I should be doing this week. And yet here we are. Now this video is not a start to finish guide of the program I used. It's more of an overview showing what the software can and cannot do. There are timestamps below and links to a lot of VTube resources for all budgets. And please know this is not a sponsored video. Any products or services I talk about have been purchased by me for me. These are my opinions, unbought and unbossed. So let's begin with a formal introduction. This is Mademoiselle Phonax, my VTube avatar. She was created in Adobe Illustrator, modified in Adobe Photoshop, and rigged and animated in Adobe Character Animator, or ACA, because that's a mouthful. Many creators here on YouTube use ACA to animate shorts. It's possible to create a full animated movie in this software with multiple characters in each scene. Something I would love to do in the future. Personally, I use the software for live streaming, links to the latest Lightbringers podcast here, and I also use it to animate Phonax as a talking head on my videos. This software offers triggered, keybound animations, pre-made full body animations, and swap sets like this. It has baked in material physics too, as well as automated live lip sync. So let's begin at the beginning. Vonax started life as a vector image. This is the original art bundle I purchased from graphicmama.com, which cost me £35 or $40. The company also sells fully rigged avatars for ACA, but I wanted to customize my avatar and her animations. Graphic Mama's customer base seems primarily corporate, with generic animations matching that kind of theme. So I opted for an art bundle which gave me 90% of the art assets I needed to create a 2D animation pack of my own. Now I bought three full bundles and made Phonax and Phonite. So far here is the original art versus my modified versions. You can of course create your own artwork. You could even use screenshots of your in-game avatars to create animated versions of them and there are independent artists you can commission to make original characters for you. The choice is yours. I went for a professional service because I felt that my art skills were lacking. Taking a character from concept right through to final rigging is something I aspire to. Fingers crossed my skills will improve enough to make this a reality one day. I chose Adobe Character Animator because you do not need previous experience of animating to use it. Now, when I got the original vector art, I dissected it in Illustrator and exported all the assets I needed into Photoshop. Once there, I could modify the art to my liking and build the less structure required to use in Character Animator. To be clear, if I had a better working knowledge of Illustrator, I could have done all the modding and the less structure in that program. I only used Photoshop because I'm already proficient in that program. To animate 2D art assets, you need to kind of break them down into their component parts. For Phonax, she has two main groups, a head group and a body group, within which you will find many folders and numerous layers. For example, inside her head group, you will find her mouths, all 26 of them. Why 26? Mostly because ACA has an automated lip sync function, which requires a set number of mouth shapes. However, I've added more for stylistic reasons. Now, please note, any issues with the lip sync you may see in my avatar are likely due to my amateurish modification of her mouth shape, not any failings of the program. Full disclaimer, not a professional artist. So, her eyes too have individual layers with two lid options, a blink, two pupil sets, as well as two eyebrow sets. Her hair is made up of five separate layers with fringe, side bits, ponytail, and back piece. 
Her background face even has a number of layers separated into shading, highlights, and a base layer. Now, you may be thinking, do you really need that many layers? No, you really don't. Phonax has quite so many because I want her to have a broad scope of expression in both her face and body. Really, I should have started with a less layer dense character, but I'm stubborn and so I learned the hard way. Now, if you're fearful of this layer structure, please don't be. You can download a template for both Photoshop and Illustrator on Adobe's website. The templates are bare bones, giving you what you need to drive a basic animated character. Now, once you are more proficient with the structure, more comfortable, you get to have fun adding things like crazy cat eyes, for example. Honestly, the required complexity of your avatar is dependent on your use case. If you want your avatar, for example, to walk, its art and a layer structure has to accommodate that. If you want your character to physically turn, the same applies. Here's a head turn I'm working on, very rough. You can see the standard front-facing head with the two quarter-face views on either side. You can, in fact, animate full profile to profile head and body turns in the program. However, I must stress, ACA cannot interpolate what your character should look like in, say, a three-quarter pose, and then create the image or asset for you. You must supply the art to support the animation. What the program does is stitch that art together, allowing you to control the movement of your character via your webcam or via pre-made animations in real time. Now, once you're in ACA, you will need to tag up and do a little bit of rigging of your tune with the help of this handy chap here. Adobe have made the interface as simple as possible, I think. I would say the program is straightforward and logical to use, but harder to master. It is, of course, a walk in the park compared to traditional digital animated keyframing. I'm not even going to talk about the complexities of hand-drawn animation, which is on another level entirely. Here is an example for you of the program's ease of use. You can see that my avatar's hair has movement, which follows the motion of her head, which follows the motion of my head via my webcam. This is created with a single click and animated in real time thanks to the program's baked-in physics. Also, I will say if you have strictly adhered to the prescribed layer structure much of the initial setup process for new characters is automatic. A good example of this is the automated lip sync function. There are some unique challenges when it comes to live streaming in Adobe Character Animator. You must enable the live streaming here in your scene or your recording. Then you will need a bit of software to subvert your webcam allowing you to stream your avatar directly from ACA, replacing your webcam's normal feed. I use NDI and their webcam app. Links below. Again, this video is not sponsored. I personally found Find NDI easy to use. It was easy to install. Once it's in and running, you just select ACA here and that's it. Your webcam is now streaming your scene and your character from Adobe Character Animator, and you can push that out to the world however you want to. And if all you need for your live stream is lip sync and basic head and body motions via your webcam, you need to do nothing else. However, if like me, you want the ability to trigger custom animations while live streaming, you will need a MIDI interface. This allows you to trigger animations in Adobe Character Animator whilst you are using other software, for example, OBS, or you're live streaming a video game, or you're in a podcast and you have to talk on Discord. You can still use the triggers even outside the program. I have seen clever riggers, professional riggers, making motion triggers for ACA, but honestly, I'm not that smart. I need good old fashioned key bindings for my sanity. Now, if you are interested, I have linked the MIDI I use below. Again, not sponsored, use any MIDI you like. And honestly, I found setting up MIDI key bindings in ACA is incredibly simple. You select the animation you wish to trigger. You select the key on your MIDI you're going to bind it to, 
And just like you would buy, say, a skill in a video game, you press the mini key to buy the animation to it in this little box. That's it, you're done. Now, my character, of course, because I like to make life difficult for myself, does not have a traditional body setup. Instead, it has a good number of body swap sets. They are all controlled by key bound triggers, and I created the sets using layers in Photoshop. Honestly, this is the closest I came to anything like traditional animation whilst making Phonax. ACA has a function called the cycle layer behavior, which displays each image in a folder, one after another, with an option to hold on the last layer. This method gives me the most control, the most stable, most easily triggered animations I can have for live stream of all the options that I've looked at and found. But it locks me out of all the fun baked in animations. Now I plan to make a more standard Phonax to play with those pre-made animations at some point in the future. I am a typical ADHD person. I am putting off things that I want to do and things that I don't want to do. Welcome to my brain. Most VTubers do not use ACA. You are more likely to see virtual avatars driven by the likes of VTube Studio or Lupet, or even FaceRig, although they have turned predatory in their monetization. The avatars themselves are frequently super cute anime-based creations, the kawaii archetype, and they are often custom made and rigged by professional artists at not insignificant cost. From a few hundred, to several thousand pounds. However, it is entirely possible to get into VTubing without massive overheads. There are free avatar creation programs like Vroid, which is available on Steam and Ready Player Me. These programs have gamified and simplified the process of making custom avatars from a standard template. If you've ever created a character in, say, a modern RPG or MMO, you'll feel right at home. Now, the very popular VTube Studio, which costs $12 to $15 on Steam, is an app used to live stream and or record virtual avatars. The app also allows you to import custom models. Of course, making a customer character is optional and there are many free pre-rigged avatars up for grabs. These are the base models you get with VTube Studio. So you have to pay the 12 to 15 bucks to get them, but they are all prepped, set, and ready to use. I mean, you have to fiddle about and select your webcam and stuff. There is a link below to actually a, a tutorial if you want to try VTube Studio and these avatars. So you can join the VTube revolution without having to sell a kidney or three, or the kitchen sink, or your friend Frank. If you want to test the waters of VTubing, there are links below. It's a fun hobby. I enjoy it. I encourage you to try it if you want to. But, 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 we have come to the end. So, guys, girls, and non-binary pals, that was how Fornix was made. How she is animated, with a side order of software recommendations thrown in for good measure. If you enjoyed this off-topic video, let the algorithm know by hitting that like button. Please do share this video with anyone you think might find it interesting or useful and perhaps consider subscribing for more off-topic and Guild Wars 2 content in the future. I do stand for Guild Wars 2 quite a lot. I will be lurking in the comments section to answer any and all questions within reason. You know who you are. Many hugs and much love to all my patrons who keep this one woman show up and running and relatively sane. Special thanks to Daydreaming D, Quantum Cat, Bobaloo, Shishim, Wayu, Aaron, Boston, Mayo Kazoo, Arthur, Pish Pash, Jordan, Novacat, Carb K, Dylan, Jolly Joe Star, Driston, Raval, Doug Smith, Dr. Watt, Motorola, Zantara, Andy Farrell, Ken Schneider, Isaac, Matt Gibson, and Tristan, Tazara. Until we meet again, please stay safe, stay awesome, and thank you so much for watching.